America's national debt has been reaching figures usually associated with those of Italy or Spain, with critics saying that it's the most serious long-term economic problem facing U.S. policymakers right now. RT correspondent Caleb Mopin asked some New Yorkers about the country's debt. The clock on U.S. debt keeps ticking, literally. This debt clock outside the Manhattan IRS office tracks the amount of money owed by the American taxpayers as it keeps relentlessly piling up. 26 years ago, there was panic because the debt had reached $3 trillion. Throw another trillion dollars on top of it for the savings and loan fiasco so that every one of our kids now is deeply in debt. Now the U.S. federal government owes a whopping $19 trillion. Now how much money we owe? No idea, no. Okay, well, that's actually, it's right up there. You can see the, the national debt clock. Oh, wow. $19 trillion. $19 trillion. When are we going to pay all that money? What happens if we can't pay? Well, somebody else is going to own us. Should worry me. What do they say? If America catches a cold, everybody else gets something worse. Well, I mean, let's face it, uh, it's irresponsible spending. How are we going to pay for that? Stop uh, going to war. Yeah, stop going to war. It wouldn't be a bad start. And frankly, I think that uh, the system eventually is unsustainable. And at some point, uh, it's going to collapse. We're going to get evicted. <laughs> If you can't pay your bills, you get evicted, you get kicked out, you get shut down. And it's so much money that's actually larger now than the total value of all goods and services produced in the U.S. in a year, or the debt is now larger than the GDP. This number is important because in economics, we generally teach people that if your debt levels get more than 90% of GDP, it slows your growth, it makes you more fragile, it makes you more crisis prone. And sadly for us, we're way above that number. Over one third of U.S. assets, 37% come from the federal student loans program. The U.S. government arranges for students to borrow money from private banks in order to pay for their education and insures the loans. I spoke to some students about how their debt is propping up the federal budget. A third of the assets of the U.S. government are actually the unpaid student debts. I'm not surprised. It's probably all my money, all my unpaid debt. There's been a 225 percent increase in in-state public college tuition from 1984 to 2014. Even community college is getting more expensive. Just a huge number, about $1.25 trillion in total student loans out there. That is an undercount, we know it, because we don't get to count all of it. So, and about 11.5% of it is in default right now. So actually more than one in 10 loans made to a student in this country is now more than 60 days overdue. Your debt and your requirement to repay it is guaranteed, but jobs are not. And so when the economy turns down, you have a guaranteed debt and no guaranteed income. Economists predict that the student debt bubble will burst sometime in the near future. The job market is drying up and wages are going down. So if the government is unable to collect from students, will the U.S. taxpayers be stuck with a $19 trillion bill? Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.